hiding sleep Sneaks from bed while all's asleep He watches ships go sailing by Across the rooftops in the night Looking out of Swansea Bay He dreams of where he'll sail one day song is a uh, um, closer here now then I don't normally play this song it's always the other bands the better guitarist than me Aww. it's worse than that Aww. not as bad as that though it's okay don't worry but this uh, next song um, all the people who went out to America in search of a new life they crossed the plains they crossed over Central America not knowing where they're going to, not knowing what was there, in search of a new life, away from their beloved Wales, away from places like this where they might have had their last goodbyes before they left. But can you imagine going to a place where, um, called the Dust Bowl, the Dust Bowl of Nebraska, is that right? Because he's, you can tell he's the historian, he's wearing the hat. It's a, it's a grizz, if you're it's a grizz. the hat genuine, is a grizz. Genuine American hat. But um, I don't know if you know, but out in the dust bowls of America, there was the, because, the, because the dust was so thick, apparently, how many years did it take? Ten years the dust flew in storms. And you can imagine a, a typical Welsh woman, we call her Mally, 
and she was out there in the dust bowls and trying to keep a family alive, trying to battle the elements and probably she only wanted to see the green, green grass of home. This is called Dust Bowl Mali. <laughs> Joys and noisy death Carves man and boy And takes their breath Kathy feels so far away Nature's way So let us pray That's for Mary That's for Mary That's for Das Bowl Mary, Das Bowl Mary, Das Bowl Mary. In '39, the wind did howl and raised the dust in Nebraska's bowl. The coffee fields so far away. Just a so they say. We can't come from Wales without thinking about miners. <laughs> we have to do a song about miners. And um, this little song um, is, is off our new, our new album that we're recording now. I'm just putting that on because I can read now. Oh, I've come to the age when I need bifocals. It's terrible. <laughs> but with this, this particular song, there's a, there's a mythical seam of coal that goes from Escadí in, in Spain, isn't it? 
and it runs under the Atlantic and it ends up in Pennsylvania. But what the song is trying to say is that no matter where we are with miners all around the world, the things that they've suffered are still the same. The air that they breathed underground is still the same. The songs that they sang, the women that they went home to, the feelings were just the same. So whether it's from Escadie to Pennsylvania, on this Atlantic sea, this black gold, this black coal was the essence of their lives. They broke their backs. So this is called Aristocrats of the Working Class. <laughs>
don't know how he got through that without crying. <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? We do a lot of that in this happy band. <laughs> no, we do have happy songs. It's just that all the other guys play the happy ones and I play the miserable ones, so I apologize for that. But um, I'm going to introduce you now to Terry, Terry Thompson. Oh, and this is Simon Pugh Jones on the, on the drums. On the kit. My name's Lorraine King and uh, this is Terry Thomas. And I, again, oh, there you go, extra clap. That is his mother up there. Um, but um, this particular song, uh, this is one of my favourites that Terry's ever written, and um, I did suggest this morning that we, we have a little look at this. I've never played it before, so if I muck up, apologies. But it's a brilliant song, I really love it. It's called The Day That It Rained. Are we all right? Got a gun in my hand and I'm trying oh so hard just to understand why it is this way. Been so long being all alone with a chill in your voice and the ache in my bones only yesterday mattered anyway. I still remember when the touch of our hearts made us love again. Now just a memory of the day that it rained and you came to me. Set me free to go running wild, but deep down inside there was still a child with so much to know. That I could turn back time when the beat of your drum was the same as mine seemed so long ago. Why'd you have to go? I still remember when the touch of our hearts made us love again. Now just a memory of the day that it rained. I don't know what the future holds My world is empty and so cold Your voice is calling to me everywhere I have this feeling deep inside You were always by my side But I know that you're not really there You're not really there Oh Lord, come on in this pain of another day of living where no love remain I am tired and bored Wishing for a thing won't make it so How could I be so blind to let you go And I curse the more that the day was born I still remember when touch of our hearts made us love again now just a memory of the day that it rained and you came to me love to me i still remember when the touch of our hearts made us love again now just a memory of the day that it rained Um, we thought we'd do a little one number from um, a trench for Daz was, uh, and this is a little song about uh, a, a girl who was serving the soldiers in the bars and the restaurants in um, outside Passchendaele. Because the thing is, you know, they were at the front, 
And then they, they went off on leave for a bit, and they went to the bars and, and did what they did. And then it was this rolling rotation of going to the fourth level, third level, second level, the first level. I am correct, aren't I, Simon? Thank you very much. And I just, when we started the band Trenchfoot, it was all songs about men. So we couldn't find a subject that I could sing as a woman. So, of course, they made me, they thought I could either be a mother, I could be a, what was it, a wife, or a serving girl. So I chose the serving girl. I don't know why. <laughs> no typecast in there, then. But um, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to show the, the, the hard life that these girls had. You know, how did they make their money? How did they, where did they get the money or the bread to eat, you know? That, and they had to work for it. They were the serving girls, and they may have even fallen in love with a soldier or two that they had to say goodbye to at the end of the day. Her long flame red hair flickers wildly in the light as the little swallow dances with the soldiers through the night. Her eyes sparkle brightly as she catches each man's eye. Time, Mike. Fifteen minutes. Oh, I've got another, another um, five minutes for a miserable song then. Brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Shall we do Larry Goldair? Right, I, I'd like to do this because it, it is one of my favourites these days. It was written by, the words were written um, by myself and um, my friend John Wake. He was an ex-policeman and uh, turned poet. But, but basically it's, it's every man's, you know, when they have to go away and fight in the war. This is um, about the relationship between him and the girl he was leaving behind. I'm cold and wet and I hate it here All around I smell Thank you very much. Oh, you've had enough of being miserable now. This next song is Madness. Because <laughs> I've only just wrote it this morning. <laughs> this could be good, this could be messed up. Oh, no. I don't know, we see. I thought it was St. David's Day. Let's write a song about Wales. recently got involved with doing um, this production in the Botanical Gardens of Wales. Who knows the Botanical Gardens of Wales? Who's been to the Ga Botanical Garden of Wales? Who's going again to the Botanical Gardens of Wales? Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I think I should be an ambassador for Wales, basically. That's really nice. And um, let me just take that away. Who knew? Dinner and a show. I well, certainly right. is that. <laughs> I've got to use a different guitar, that's all. Um, yeah, so, the Botanical Gardens of Wales uh, was donated, the house there and the gardens were donated by the Middleton family. Now, the Middleton family started this, was part of the start of the East India spice trade. Do you know anything about the spice trade, the East India Company? Well, all the spices, like peppercorns and nutmeg and all the sort of things that you like, um, had to be got from somewhere. They, they set sail from Wales and they went down the south coast of uh, the east and west coast of Africa, off to India, off to China, wherever they could get the spices. History lesson, right? But uh, what I loved, um, we, we've, we've been asked to actually write a, a children's musical for about 40 minutes in the Botanical Gardens in May. So you're all welcome to come and see it. 
uh, sort of like uh, songs for, sort of for children. So we start with, with this particular song is all about um, uh, whalers in the sense that, right, right, go back a bit. Wonderful thing happened. What I like, the story that I liked about the two captains that went out there um, is that they, they were full of um, m uh, musicians and artists that went to be the seamen on the, uh, on the boats. Now, instead of trading with the, um, the tribes that they came with, in, in with, what they used to do was they used to put on plays. <laughs> and they'd impress the king of whatever tribe they'd arrived at and then they would actually trade for spices. So they were telling them about their land of Wales, and that's what we're going to be doing in the botanical gardens. We're going to, I'm, I'm a, dressed up as a parrot. <laughs> Some silly things. No typecast in there, then. No, and uh, there's two pirates, and uh, anyways, all stupid madness and tumpas and whatever. And um, this is madness because we've only just written this, right? But it's got a little chorus, and you'll get it. It's, 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 the words of the bit that you've got to sing is, Wales, the land of song. Wales, where we come from. That's easy, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Unless you're English, you won't want to sing it then. Right? Uh, <laughs> so this is, you know, so you can clap if you want. Wales is a pretty country that looks like a pig on a map you can spot it, but it's not very big, full of stubborn